problem is an idea gets you and then it grips you and then it won't let you go, even though you don't really even want to do it because it looks like a lot of hard work. So that, that can be tricky. I was quite theoretical. So I learned hair and scalp diseases, I learned to be a hairdressing teacher, mainly because I just did it, not because I wanted to do any of it particularly, but just to study. Um, and then I, I became a trichologist, so I studied hair and scalp diseases just as part of that same progression, and I did that for a little while. Um, so I sort of got quite a broad base in beauty and hair, and especially hair-based, hair, -based, hair um, products. And then, but I, I also very green, very, very keen on green things. I found the idea of changing someone's appearance turned me on. It, it made my stomach flip. I just loved it. I don't know why. I don't know why. I was 14 when I first got into it. So straight guy, 14, who got into it. I was able to do all the things I liked doing through my job. So all of the green things, the herb, herbal stuff, the using natural ingredients, all of that I was able to do through my job. Um, and I was supplying other people before Anita, but then um, that was my big break. Anita discovered me, I was very pleased. <coughs> and I was only in my early 20s, so it was very exciting for me because they were the fastest growing um, cosmetic company in the world. I mean, and, and to have my ideas going out there and my thoughts and my products was, uh, was good. It's not that we don't have the idea, so I didn't say, right, I've seen a great cheese shop, please make it look like the cheese shop. You, you start to work on the ideas, and then suddenly you go, well, that, we could have it looking like the cheese shop, and, you know, and then, oh, yes, that sounds great. So that's, that's the way the ideas develop. They're not, you know, again, they're not just wallop, and they're, and they're all interaction between a whole series of different people. Um, quite, quite often very fast, very electric, when there's a good moment, and it could occur at any time. I don't think anyone should buy a cosmetic because it's unpackaged. I think they should buy it because it's effective. Um, and then they should make sure it's good value for money. And, and, uh, and after that, you know, hopefully it's effective. I think it's this, this whole thing of struggling for single marketing things. Uh, and we are really not like that. We, we don't, you know, we're, we're a group of, of people who are very experienced in making the products we make. Um, and we like to put in many facets in there. You know when you read a good book, it, it, it's never got one single storyline. Hopefully it's got a myriad of characters that engage you and keep you going. And that really is what Lush is about. <laughs>